My name is Julie Ribbits. I am the Beverly and Gail W. Doster Painting Conservator here at the Eskenazi Museum. I've been working in museums and with conservation for over 12 years now. I think I always, I always like to joke too that one of my earliest memories is actually getting yelled at at a museum for trying to touch the art. When I was four years old, I believe, I got yelled at by a security guard at the Detroit Institute of Art for trying to touch one of the paintings in the European Gallery. And so we always, we always just laugh at kind of how my career ended up such that I am now actively doing that for my job. We are probably among the few for the Big Ten specifically that has a paintings conservator. And one of the best things about conservation is that it's kind of a perfect blend between both science and art. Within my specialty of paintings conservation, it can really break down further into a few different types of paintings. For instance, I was trained specifically on old masterworks on both wooden panel and canvas. And these types of artworks generally portray different types of condition issues than, for instance, a modern contemporary work that was completed in the past five years. Just differences in materials, what kinds of paints have been used, what types of pigments have been used, these all kind of come together to create different sorts of things to look out for when you're monitoring a collection and really caring for it. There's a lot of research that has to go into not only how these paintings were made, why they were made, and with what materials they were made, because that will really determine how I care for them in the future. I'm personally really excited to see the Kaibot. Um, it's one of my favorite artists of all time, so knowing that we not only have one in the collection, but to be able to see it in person will be very exciting. You're supposed to be able to walk into a museum and not immediately think, oh, this object or this painting or this work on paper is falling apart. Seeing and knowing that a Big Ten University has a collection that has such a wide-ranging breadth is really exciting. And so I'm honestly just really excited to dive in and get to know the collection better. We sort of thought forward in creating a space specifically for conservation, not only paintings conservation, but also objects as well. So this space has been fully renovated and is in the process of being fully equipped with technology that'll really help us understand these paintings, these objects, and how we can best care for them in the future. Um, a really great thing about a lot of conservation labs is that for instance, we have um, analytical equipment as well, things that you'll generally see in chemistry labs, chemistry departments, really. Um, a lot of microscopes, um, things on the tables, and then a variety of types of lamps. We have solvent, extract, solvent extraction trunks, um, things to keep us safe as well as keeping the art safe as well. A lot of conservation labs are sort of retrofitted spaces within museums. They're either set in a basement area or in an attic space, so you may not get a lot of accessibility to the labs because of that. The way that this renovation has taken place, we have a few separate ways of kind of looking into conservation at any given point. We have an open access window such that if you're in the gallery spaces, you can actually see into this space. And otherwise, we're actually at level with the outside terrace. So anyone who's walking in the terrace will also be able to see what we're up to at any given time. Hopefully the teaching aspect will be multifaceted, particularly for IU students, I think it would be great allowing students to come in here and realize that conservation may be an avenue for a future career. And if not, if you're working in a different aspect of the museum, how conservation can work with you. It was really great to see that this was sort of a creation, this conservation center as part of the renovation so that we could bring in more teaching aspect of this. We'll be able to have students come in, classes come in, and we'll really be able to show and give a new accessibility to conservation that you may not see in a lot of other places.